this week, a non-feature card, which is actually a feature card, is playing right now. The lefty card, Chris Clemens, Austin Turner, Zach Arlinghouse, and Nathan Queen. And Nate, I love this because these four lefties all have completely different play styles. And I'm so excited for them because as a lefty myself who played on the tour, it's so frustrating to play a tournament where you don't get to truly read the wind off of anybody unless you're paired with one of the few lefties out there on the tour. Now these guys can read the win from everybody on their card and play just like the righties get to play every single day. So uh, I am so excited for them. Nate, I know we didn't have it in the perks picks this morning. Who are you going to pick? Which lefty on this card is winning this weekend? You know, they're they're all ballers. And, you know, all four of them actually said that this is their first time playing with an all-lefty card. You, you, you have to think someone was behind this madness here. And, you know, Nathan Queen is getting his legs uh, underneath him again after recovering from almost two years of, of an injury. Uh, but I have to go with the, the power forehand game of Chris Clemens. You know, and I'm not even looking at the scores. We talked about this before we even saw the leaderboard. I'm going to go Nathan Queen. Nathan has a, a chip on his shoulder right now. He's coming off of an injury. He's still trying to battle back to where he was when he won the Tour Championship at Hornet's Nest. Uh, but, man, you, you, you really root for all these guys because they're playing a mirror image course week in and week out. They have to get really crafty in certain situations. So super excited for them and uh, what they get to play with today. We also have another card going out there, Nate, where every player's name is Paul. What's going on with these randomized cards? Uh, Paul McBeth, Paul Omen, Paul Ulibarri, Paul Kranz. The all-Paul card is going off on hole number one. Uh, wh what do you think about these guys' chances? Yeah, someone was having fun with these cards, Brian, for sure. This one has kind of made waves on the and You know, all four of these players are in such different you know p positions in, in their career i mean uh paul Macbeth obviously doesn't really have anything to prove but in terms of, he's got to be on fire right now because of his you know failure so far in this season i know he's in a new chapter of life but paul omen has been dedicating himself to the game the last few years making a full tour and he's been missing cash lately but i am gonna actually go with omen to get his third DCPT top 10 this week i'm going with my boy tall paul you know nate i think paul Macbeth has a ton to prove right now i think he's finally dipped off a bit with the injury with the kid with the mm -hmm. other priorities i think paul Macbeth is starting to feel like an underdog again and i have a feeling we're gonna see him battle back i'm gonna pick paul Macbeth winning amongst the paul card this weekend